Hi guys, I'm Kimchi. Welcome to my channel. Happy watching. Chen Chen, I'm going out for a while. In the previous chapter, Bai Bing called Jing Jiao to come to a bar. It's that at night. Where are you going? Then I'll go with you. There's a friend whose broken heart gets stuck at a bar and forgot to bring money. I'll be right back after going to see her. You better not come. You two don't know each other. It'll be awkward. Oh, okay then. Then you come back early. Just call me if something happens. Okay. And she finally arrived at the location. Hello, Baibing. I'm at the entrance door now. Where are you? I'm here. How are you? Are you okay? I'm fine. Mainly, I didn't bring money with me. Can you pay it for me? Hey, you slow down. By being quickly. Texting Jiao to the Le Cheng Yu's private box. Bai Bing, shouldn't we pay at the castle? Why did we come to the box instead? I have a friend who wants to know you. Let's meet him first. What? Hearing that, Jing Jiao finally knows that. She has been deceived by Bai Bing. Aren't you broken heart and was drinking alone? You write to me. If I didn't say so, then you wouldn't come. You... Where are you going, little sister? I want to get to know you and make a friend. Don't you give me some face? <sighs> so she is trapped and it's too late for her to run away now. Meanwhile, Suimo, who is just finished taking a shower. The ordinary people are really happy today. And suddenly, he gets a call from Jing Jiao. Huh? Have you done moving? Second year Master Jin, guess who I am. Huh? So Nemla, why are you using Jing Jiao's phone? Seems that second young Master Jin still remembers me. Jing Chao is seen getting tight in the background. As for me, life is too boring. I like to have some fun. I heard that you have a cross on a little sister. So I can help but see what she looks like. Le Cheng Yu. If you dare to write a finger on her, I will kill you alive. It's hard to say, this little sister looks so cute. Well, the skin is also good. You know where I am, if I don't see you before 11. Then, I'll help you. Have a taste. After saying that, Le Cheng Yu hangs up the phone. And a furious Suimo throws his phone on the mirror. <laughs> Jin Jiao, please, please be safe. Be safe. Can Suimo rescue Jin Jiao just in time? 
will they escape from the Jungyu scam?